Hello, I'm Ron Carey. I'm chairman of the Republican Party of Minnesota, and thank you for joining me in this discussion about precinct caucuses in Minnesota. Precinct caucuses are one of the most important parts of building the Republican Party in the state and for promoting our candidates and our cause. Now, some people say, why in the world would I ever take a night out in February and go to a precinct caucus? Or what is a precinct caucus? So let me take a few minutes and just share with you what will happen at a precinct caucus and why you should be engaged in making sure your voice is heard that night. Now, first of all, precinct caucuses are set up by the re respective political parties. The Democrats will be caucusing and the Republicans will be caucusing. And really what it is, is a gathering of over 4,000 small neighborhood meetings across the state. Now, in some cases, the neighborhood may be quite broad if the area is dense or sparsely populated. But in other areas where it's densely population, dense population, you may have uh, uh, literally a few square miles constitute a, a precinct. A precinct really is the geography of a voting uh, 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 area for the general election. So think about the, the area of, of that votes in the same location as you do, and that is your precinct. So in effect, what a precinct caucus is, it's a gathering of friends and, friends and neighbors in a neighborhood meeting. 4,000 neighborhood meetings going on simultaneously for the Republicans and the same for the Democrats. So the people you may be sitting around the room with are going to be maybe the person that lives next door to you or the person uh, whose kids are in the same athletic events as yours at your school. Again, this is not a uh, big event with uh, uh, a horde of people that you've never seen before. It's going to be mostly your friends and your neighbors, um, other leaders in the community who care about society and want to make a difference. Now, some people say, why should I get involved? And the reason you should get involved is because the old cliche is the world belongs to those who show up. And that is very true when it comes to the political process. There may be, in a typical caucus, you know, 10 people show up. And yet those 10 people are going to determine what the direction is of the Republican Party in your specific neighborhood. And if you want to have a voice as to what direction that is, show up. And make sure when you show up, you don't just show up yourself. Bring your spouse, bring any other family member that may be able to participate. One important thing on participation is the people who are eligible are any U.S. citizen who is going to be 18 on Election Day. So you may have a senior in high school who is going to turn 18 uh, in summer they certainly can participate. So we want to get everybody to come out and participate that is eligible. And you know, if you ever th have gone to the ballot box in November and said, boy, I wish I had some different candidates to choose from, tonight is your night. Caucus night is when you make a difference because February 5th caucus night is the beginning of the process for, for selecting candidates for the Republican Party, all the way from the presidential nominee down to your state and local races. Uh, so those who show up will have their voice uh, really amplified in choosing who our candidates are. Now when you show up on caucus night, which is February 5th, you're going to find a room set up similar to this. It's just going to be a very casual environment. You'll have somebody like myself who's going to be the caucus convener. That means that this person is there to kind of organize and facilitate the neighborhood meeting to make sure that uh, the order of business is followed and that everybody has a fair chance to have their voice being heard. Uh, it, it, it probably, again, is somebody you might be live next to or, or know very well. But again, the meetings are very informal. Obviously, we want to have some kind of structure, but uh, what I found in my experience is that it's, it's uh, just, again, neighbors talking to neighbors. I actually attended my first caucus in 1976, and that was in the living room of a farmhouse. And that's how informal these can be. Uh, the coffee pot may be on. Somebody might bring some snacks. And you sit around and talk about issues, and you talk about candidates. Uh, and the pros and cons in your mind as to the, what issues should be promoted by the Republican Party and what candidates should be promoted within the Republican Party. So again, we want to make sure your voice is heard by participating because if you don't participate, somebody else is going to make the decisions and represent your viewpoint in your neighborhood. Now what we're going to be doing on caucus night are uh, uh, several things. First of all, we're going to have a discussion of the platform. Now what is a platform? A platform is a statement of ideas and principles that really shape what the Republican Party stands for. Now this is not a, a platform is not created by a uh, few party leaders in a smoke-filled room. It's, it's created by those who show up on caucus night. We have a process that begins on February 5th in your local neighborhood precinct meeting and it, it culminates uh, on the state level at our state convention and on the national level at the, level at the national convention. But with the ideas that come out of your local neighborhood meeting do rise up through the process and in, at the end of the day form the basis of our Republican Party platform. So if you ever wanted to make sure that your viewpoints are heard in rep and uh, uh, communicated through our platform, show up on February 5th and make sure you participate in that process. 
Another aspect of uh, Precinct Caucus is selecting candidates. Now, this year we're selecting a presidential nominee, and that gets a lot of the attention. And yes, we will be uh, uh, letting our voice be heard on the presidential nomination. Uh, when we, you get to caucus, one of the first orders of business is you'll be handed a piece of paper just like this, and it's going to have the names of all the different presidential candidates for the Republican Party that are active at this point in time. And you're simply going to be asked to put a check mark or an X next to the candidate that best represents your viewpoints, and uh, they'll be collected by the convener, and the, the votes will be counted right there in the room and announced as to, you know, the, if you're seven or eight people, how they in your neighborhood uh, voted for president and is their first choice uh, for a Republican nominee. Those votes are going to be uh, tabulated and consolidated with everybody else across the state in Republican caucuses, and we'll be reporting out uh, later that evening as to what the sentiment is of the Republicans who showed up that night uh, in, throughout Minnesota. So that is important. But also, we're going to be uh, talking about other candidates. It may be in a case like here, you'll be getting information on candidates. Here's information about Senator Coleman that may be handed out. Or, and asking, making a case as why you should get engaged in Senator Coleman's campaign. Or else it may be you have state uh, house races where you have different Republicans seeking the endorsement of the Republican Party, and they may be wanting information out there so they can earn your support uh, in, in they becoming our Republican nominee come November for running for state representative. So that you could have a myriad of candidates making a pitch and encouraging you to support them, uh, not only with your votes, but also with your efforts in the campaigns. Now, another thing that is important aspect of precinct caucuses is we select our precinct leaders. What that means is we're selecting our local Republican leaders who are going to be responsible for energizing the Republican uh, effort uh, in their respective neighborhoods throughout the November election. And that's where I know myself, I, in 1988, I went to a Republican caucus in Minnesota. I had been out of the state for a few years. I walked in uh, with a room of 20-some people. The only person I knew besides myself was my wife. Yet, yet I left that night as the precinct chairman in charge of the Republican effort in that neighborhood. And that's the sort of opportunity that if you want to get engaged, you certainly can uh, uh, walk out there that night having a more important role in helping make sure the Republican cause is forwarded in your local neighborhood. So help us uh, uh, select Republican leaders. Perhaps consider running yourself as the local Republican contact, and you can help our party and our cause greatly by doing that. The final thing that uh, is important about caucuses is the people who show up at caucus are the basis for us selecting uh, who our, our volunteers are going to be or recruiting our volunteers to help our efforts uh, in the November election. People who show up on February 5th are going to be are making a statement that they do care about the Republican Party and they care about our issues in this 2008 election. So it only stands to reason that our candidates are going to be looking to those who show up at precinct caucuses on February 5th to be form the backbone of our volunteer efforts in, uh, in for the November push. So again, bring your friends, bring your family, and show up and let your voice be heard on February 5th. Again, the world belongs to those who show up, and I hope that you'll take advantage of this unique opportunity to make sure your voice is heard and in, in helping the Republican Party become a stronger party and, and be prepared for a, a push for victory in November of this year. If you have any questions about how to, where your precinct caucus is, please go to our website, mngop.com, and you'll find there uh, an easy to find uh, button that you can push and just type in your address and your zip code and it'll tell you where your local caucus is going to be held. It starts at 7 o'clock on, on Tuesday night, February 5th, and uh, typical meeting is going to last one to two hours. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping that people that are in, interested in our society will say it's worth spending an hour or two in a two-year cycle being part of the Re uh, Republican Party process in here. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you will show up and bring your friends and family on February 5th, and God bless you for your involvement in this important cause. Good night.